Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Demon Souls Remake. And in this part of the full playthrough walkthrough, we're going to enter the Valley of Defilement in the first Archstone. Before we do that, quick disclaimer, this is a Let's Play style walkthrough, so I, I will be playing and talking at the same time. You may hear some background noise, you probably hear my controller vibrate, you may hear a plane going by overhead, hopefully my dog doesn't bark, but just a disclaimer, this is a live sort of playthrough. Okay, so... Uh, I will show you my character stats. I have a longsword plus 10, the fluted armor set, and the kite shield. And then I'm using the thief ring and the cling ring. Uh, then I just have some grass here. I am level 50 with 25 vitality, 11 intelligence, 24 endurance, uh, 30 strength, 12 dex, 10 magic, 11 faith, 7 luck. Okay, so before we jump into Valley of Defilement, let me just visit Stockpile Thomas here. Grab a couple things. Uh, the poison resistance ring is really, really helpful. Be sure to grab that out of your uh, inventory. Uh, bring some more Noble's Lotus in case that doesn't fill you up. And then some any spice that you need. Uh, you shouldn't need an edge sharpening stone. Uh, what I also recommend bringing is some pine resin or uh, anything that can buff your weapon with fire. Uh, most of the enemies in Valley Defilement are weak to fire, but the boss of 5-1, which is Leechmonger, is especially weak to fire. So, yeah, that's sort of it. Um, if you want to bring a catalyst, go ahead. Probably probably won't hurt. Okay, so with that, uh, let's just visit Stockpile Thomas, or uh, Blacksmith Ed. Sorry, Blacksmith Baldwin really quick. Repair our gear, and then I don't think I need to purchase anything from him at this point. Okay, cool. So, Valley of Defilement, Archstone of the Chieftain. The Depraved Chasm is the first Archstone. So, starting off, Valley of Defilement is... Uh, it's just a frustrating area. <laughs> I can't exaggerate at all. And uh, that's evidenced by the entrance, or the pathway, not being straight ahead of the archstone. Instead, we gotta go up. And uh, this place is the, the, the precursor to Blighttown, or the predecessor to Blighttown in Dark Souls 1. And... What is it? Not Black Gulch. Not the Gulch. Um, whatever that weird shanty town is in Dark Souls 2. Can't remember that. But anyway, Valley Defilement is what started it all. Uh, it is a shiplap sort of shanty town that you uh, can easily get lost in, and it deliberately turns you around. There's a lot of false paths. Uh, I don't like this enemy's position here, just being honest. Maybe I can get him to walk off. There we go. Um, having an upgraded weapon, I, I do not recommend coming in here with anything less than like a plus eight weapon. These uh, depraved ones kind of fall from all locations. One's going to drop right in front of us, actually. There he is. These depraved ones um, can sneak up on you. As you can see, this one here, he's waking up. And your first time through any area in this stage that has depraved ones that will be waking up... Um, the first time through, they wake up. The second time through, or any subsequent time through, uh, they will not. They will just be active all the time. Okay, so in this first area of Valley of Defilement, there's a few different things that we need to do. So I'm going to jump down and grab this treasure here. Uh, this is... I don't think it's anything too important, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's a Morning Star. It's not a bad weapon. Not a bad starting weapon, pretty early game. But you can see that there is some more treasures to get. However, I'm not going to get those just yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically comb the entire area because this is the only way to get this treasure up here. You want to drop that bridge and then kill that depraved one with the flame poker. There's a talisman of God and a widow's lotus here. And there's some more enemies that are just underneath us. So... If you're lucky, you can sort of just bait them off the uh, platform there. Just sort of aggro them, and then sometimes they'll just walk off. The reason I'm taking this so slow is because these guys are quite deadly, and they can re easily gang up on you. Yeah, so this this ability right here, that really drains stamina, especially on New Game Plus. Um, the, the stamina drain is just insane. They, they tink you like six or seven times. Uh, in that one combo chain. So it's very, very deadly. Okay, so we're gonna come over here now. And then, now that we've sort of done that loop, I'm gonna show you where that lets out. And that is uh, just up this ladder. This is basically exactly where we were before. 
just before we dropped that uh, shortcut ladder. So this is where we were. We dropped down there, got that treasure. Okay, so with that done, we can just drop down here and then we're gonna uh, follow the rooftops here. So uh, we need to just drop down very carefully. I'm just double checking my pathing here. Yeah, okay, that is where we drop down. Great, so we drop down right here onto this roof. And then we get this treasure, which is a renowned hero soul. And then carefully walk around here, grab this treasure, which is some crescent moon grass, so always helpful. And then we're gonna drop down through this roof here. Careful of any enemy, I think there is one on this roof. We may have killed him already, he may have come over. Okay, go ahead and grab this treasure, some more crescent moon grass. And then we are coming up to a ring right here, so as you can see, there's a couple depraved ones down there. Yeah, this move right here, super deadly. Uh, on New Game Plus, it's it's especially rough. It The New Game Plus scaling in Valley Defilement is insane. Anyway, this is the Ring of Magical Dullness, so if you're going for the All Rings trophy, you'll need that. We're going to drop down to this roof as well, and then there's some enemies near this bridge. Let's go ahead and bait this guy out. And then one is going to wake up behind him. However, there's another one back here that I heard. So, very careful. Yeah, that move is just the worst. Okay, so, uh, what we're going to do is instead of uh, traversing this way, which is the intended path, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Um, just to kind of show you where the other path ends up. There is an enemy right here, though. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so this path here... Uh, is basically right back here. So this is the little shortcut bridge that we dropped. This is where we baited the enemies off. So that's just sort of this loop here. That's that's this landscape of this first area. We're gonna keep moving down. And then, oh, wow, yeah, this guy wakes up. Uh, he, he's very hidden. He's one of those enemies that just sleeps and then wakes up sometimes. Okay, all right. So what I recommend doing is we're going to drop down here. However, there will be enemies. Uh, there are a couple depraved ones down there waiting for us. Yeah, you can see him walking towards us now. So there's this guy. This guy's going to try to slam us. And then there's two uh, red hot poker or flaming poker guys over there. But you can see this plank. And then you can see a note down there. It's actually my own note. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't. I really did not want to do that just there. It, it's okay. <laughs> it, I, I wanted to show you this in another way, but this is probably, oh god, this is probably uh, better to do just to show you like what happens in Valley Defilement. I just realized I'm human. I did not mean to be human. Anyway, there's a stone of ephemeral eyes down here, and don't worry, we, we can make it back up to where we were, and we will, because this is actually a shortcut path, believe it or not, that we just accidentally got knocked down into from that plank. I'm gonna kill this crystal lizard here just to secure its treasure. And then this guy's gonna hit us a bunch of times. Okay, and then this is a giant tick, this enemy right here. Uh, it clearly has a sort of like pulsating sack on its back. So what I recommend doing is either attacking it from range or attacking it and then just backing up. And you can see a cloud just sort of lets out from the sack and that will poison you. However, these are the enemies that you wanna farm for marrow stone shard. Marrow stone shards. Uh, it's upgraded, Marrowstone Shards upgrade the Fatal Path of Weapons. And on this corpse here was a, uh, a Blessed Mace, which is an excellent starting weapon. Um, only requires 11 strength, which basically every starting class has. So it's really, really strong, and you can get to it somewhat easily. Um, you can just sort of drop down here, run past all the enemies, and uh, sort of pray for the best, but it's one way to get the Blessed Mace. Okay, so, oh wow, that's nice. Crystal Lizard gave us some faint Stone Chunks. Go ahead and loot, loot these corpses here. Oh, another couple of these guys just woke up. That's what I'm talking about. They really sneak up on you. Okay, and then there's a bridge right here. We're gonna knock down. Clearly there's a fog wall there. However, um, just past that fog wall is something very, very dangerous. And those, um, it's rats. So um, what I recommend doing is if you have any fire bombs, I'm not sure if I do. Okay, I don't. 
Um, however, I do have some, I do have soul arrows. So let me take out my silver catalyst here. And then basically the, the rats are going to be tucked in the, in the corner here. I may actually be aggroing them right now. Uh, but they're going to be tucked in this uh, right corner here. And then there's a path to the left that we're going to try to take super fast. All right, so the rats can uh, put plague on you, which obviously we don't want to have happen. So we're going to deal with those later. And right now, I'm going to head back to where we were. I'm going to go back to that original path. So wait for this guy to come out. Obviously, there's a couple giant ticks in here that we don't want to explode, incidentally. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, yep, we just got poisoned by a tick, so just go ahead and blow the other one up. All right. Oh, Maristone Chunk. Nice. That's a great drop. Maybe another one? Okay, Maristone Shard. Sometimes they don't drop anything. Okay, so if you have any uh, Lotus, go ahead and use that. You want Noble's Lotus for Poison, and then Widow's Lotus for Plague. Plague is much deadlier than Poison. It lasts way longer. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're basically just backtracking. So we're going to kite this guy out here. Slash him. Slash him again. He's down. Okay. And then... Right, so this is the bridge that we would have come across if we didn't fall. So let me just go back here. There's a couple of these uh, depraved ones in these little shrubs here that we got to be careful of. All right, so I'm just going to keep backtracking to show you where we would have come from. Because this area, you can see the, the rooftops are very low. Everything just sort of keeps you locked in position here. Okay, so this is the plank that we jumped down accidentally. This is the plank that we got pushed off of down here. So this is where we are again. So now I'm just going to go the normal way. And then, then there will be a fog wall here. Kill those guys. Oh, there's a treasure right there that I just missed. Oops. Great, some Noble's Lotus for the poison. Just go ahead and heal up. Okay. And then just keep heading down this path. Careful of any of the guys that are in here. Go ahead and grab that treasure. Some more faint stone. There's another treasure there. Unknown hero soul. The faint stone was on a corpse. Okay, then we cross the bridge. And now we're going to get the Saint's armor. So this is the armor set that Saint Urbane wears. I always have hiccups when I do these guides. Okay, it's on this corpse here. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes and then the Saint's robe, gloves, and boots. However, a depraved one wakes up when we do that. So just go ahead and kill him. Okay, and believe it or not, we're almost done with this stage. We only have a little bit more to go. Okay, and then there's a vendor here. This is the Filthy Woman. Uh, she's a con artist of sorts. Uh, she talks about a baby, and she wants you to buy things from her to support her baby, but we don't ever see the baby, so I think she's lying. Um, anyway, she sells black pine resin, which is really, really good. Uh, I'm actually going to buy one of those, uh, just because it gives you a more powerful, um, more powerful fire buff. She's also the only vendor in the game that sells Rotten Arrows, and Rotten Arrows will poison your enemies. And if you're looking to kill the Red and Blue Drakes in Boletaria, the Rotten Arrows are a great addition to your arsenal. You can basically shoot a bunch of Rotten Arrows at one of the dragons, get it poisoned, and then shoot it more with regular arrows, um, and then the poison just helps you. So, But she's the only vendor that sells them. Okay. Yeah, see, we, you know, we, we spend money with her, but she complains that it's not enough. She's the worst. Okay, so these are the Plague Rats. So if you have any spells, go ahead and fire away. Uh, arrows will also work. Firebombs, like I said, work pretty well. Uh, they are very weak. They don't have much health at all. Um, but one hit from these guys will plague you, so you need to be very careful. Uh, if you have Firebomb, or Fireball, it's another great spell. There's a rat coming up the plank here. Okay. So I think I've killed enough. Um, there's one more. I, th I think that's all of them. I really hope that's all of them. I don't want to get plagued. Yeah, okay. So the rats are actually one of the only enemies in the game. I think maybe the only enemies in the game that drop uh, archstone shards. And archstone shards 
will warp you back to the Nexus at no cost. Um, okay, so there's actually something that I want to talk about right here. So go into photo mode to sort of pause real quick. There is a world tendency event right here. So you can see some depraved ones up here. They're the ones that just threw the boulders at you, but you cannot reach this area unless you have pure white world tendency. And if you have pure white world tendency, a ladder will appear right here that brings you up this cliff into a pretty challenging little mini area up there. And there's a weapon up there called the Isterel, and it's a unique uh, pole arm or spear uh, weapon. So if you, it, there's also a trophy associated with it. So just picking up the Isterel uh, will give you a trophy. Okay, so this is a giant depraved one. Oh God, small depraved one just dropped. That's super helpful. God damn it. Okay, so that's why an upgraded weapon is really, really important. You can get four hits on those things uh, before they can swing at you. So really recommend bringing an upgraded weapon. Um, I've never been able to successfully parry them. Um, anyway, there's a few more depraved ones in here. Just be careful because remember that you are on uh, bad footing. You're basically on a cliff. So you don't want to get trapped. All right, so with those depraved ones down, the giant depraved one down, let's try walking up the staircase, but there is a depraved one with a fire poker here. Go ahead and hit him a couple of times, and there's a few uh, giant ticks in here. There's a total of three. So slash it. Ugh, I'm, I'm never quick enough with, uh, with regular armor. I'm used to playing uh, cloth builds. Man, these guys are dropping good stuff today. Where did that last one go? He's down here. All right, some more marrow stone, sh marrow stone shards. Can't pronounce things today. All right, let's go ahead and heal up from the poison. Great. And then there's a couple of fire poker depraved ones, as well as a giant depraved one behind it. So just sort of step onto the bridge to kite it out. And then if you're lucky, the second fire poker one will follow suit. But hopefully the giant depraved one will stay not noticing us. This is why the thief ring is really, really important. All right. Giant depraved one should notice us now. Yep. Yeah. Oh god, bridges are the worst. Right. Okay, so that's basically the last enemy of the stage. Oh, we just got some more black pine resin. I shouldn't have bought any. Okay, so now that we have basically completed the stage, I mean, it's only took us 17 minutes or so to do, uh, but this is the end. That is all of the depraved chasm. There's a final treasure here. Some full moon grass, very helpful. Um, and now we're going to fight Leechmonger, who is the boss of the Depraved Chasm. Leechmonger is... It, it's a... It's not a hard boss, but it can kill you if you're not careful. I mean, it's just sort of the story of Souls games, right? But, like, it's weak, but if you're not paying close attention to what's happening, it can do some serious damage. So, what we're going to do is we're going to unequip our Spice and put our Black Pine Resin on and then basically what's going to happen is this is a similar fight to adjudicator wherein that you're going to go through the fog wall but the boss will not be in front of you you have to go to the boss and the boss is on the lower level so that's what we got to do all right so we are going to enter and then leechmonger's cutscene is going to play this thing is literally just a construct of leeches it's very gross peligroso I know that's not what that means, but it's Terry Gross from NPR. Okay, so Leechmonger's out. Now let's go ahead and buff our weapon, switch back to our grass, and then we got to make it down to the floor basically as quickly as possible. Uh, there are some cheese strategies that you can uh, do with Leechmonger, uh, where you just sort of stay in a safe location and hurl fireballs at it. Uh, but that's not what we're going to do. We have a melee build, so we can't really perform that action. All right. So once we're down here, just start wailing on him. As you can see, I'm dealing a ton of damage. And he does have an ability where he heals himself. So when he puts his arms up in the air, I'll try to let him do it. Yeah, so he's going to start healing. You can see his life going back up. But I deal more damage than he can heal, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the uh, sort of craziness that he has where he can flail his arms around. But... He's an easy boss, and if you're doing this late in the game, he's going to go down super fast. 
But be careful because a new game plus he is hard. I, I can't I can't stress that enough. A new game plus he can really really mess up your day. But as a you know first stage boss, he only rewards a little bit amount of a little bit of souls. Um, but don't forget that all the treasures in here. Uh, there are also some upstairs that you want to make sure to uh, walk back up and grab. Man, all this grass, all this grass. All right, so we can walk up these planks again. I'm pretty sure there's treasure upstairs. Almost positive we, we ran past a couple. Maybe not. It's been a while since I've actually fully combed this room. So I might be totally mistaken, and this might be a waste of time. Yeah, okay, I don't think there's anything. Just run back up real quick. Hopefully we don't get invaded in the process here. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. That's okay. Alright, so that is Leechmonger, that is the boss fight, and the Archstone is back here. So go ahead and touch that, this way we don't get invaded. And we get the Writhing Demon Soul, and we're going to warp back to the Nexus. So, it's a pretty quick level. Uh, I recommend doing this stage late in the game. If you're not going to do it late in the game, just get the Blessed Mace and leave and come back later. Like, there's really nothing beneficial aside from the Blessed Mace, and I guess maybe the Saints set um, in this stage. There's, there's the Morning Star, but again, it's just, I don't know. It The level isn't that rewarding. You don't get much from it. There's really no upgrade materials to farm outside of the, the giant ticks. But if you are... Um, I don't know, like, you really have to go into Valley Defilement early if you have a plan. Like, okay, I want to build a Fatal Weapon, I need to go into Valley Defilement. But you can't actually build a Fatal Weapon until you get a base weapon to plus 8 anyway, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I'm almost positive that's how it works. Or maybe plus 3. One second, I don't, don't want to give you false information here. Demon Souls Upgrade Paths. Fatal. Uh, okay, so plus three. You gotta get a weapon to plus three, and then you can bring it to fatal. Um, so, it's not... Valid of Famine is not really gonna be a level you do first. Unless you're going in there with with a reason. Okay, but that's it. That's the guide. Uh, sorry to droll on so long at the end here. The next guide will be for the second Archstone of Valid Defilement, so be sure to join me for that. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Demon Souls Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Additionally, you can donate directly to the channel by clicking the link in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch, and as always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.